Hi guys, Hands Reaction here, and today we're gonna react to a new show, uh, The Umbrella Academy, episode one, season one. We only see each other at weddings and funerals. Well, that's a title. <laughs> um, technically, I've already seen this episode. I haven't seen uh, the rest, but just this episode back when uh, it was first released but I don't remember a whole lot. Like, I remember a few things, like uh, the last scene with the apocalypse. I remember the um, that one shot of the house while they're all dancing. And the introduction, I'm pretty sure I remember most of them, most of those. Um, and I remember a little bit of the, uh, most of the names, I'm pretty sure. Uh, cause, um, there's a lot of people on Tumblr who love to watch this show and, uh, yeah, it's on my feed sometimes. Just random shot. Like, um, I'm, I don't know if it's in this episode or if it's in a letter, a later episode. I'm pretty sure it's in this episode. If it's in, in a, le a later episode, but I know it, it's probably that I've seen it on, uh, Tumblr. Like, the mom. I'm pretty sure she's a robot. And there's... I mean, technically, that was in the trailer. There's a, a monkey as a butler. I don't know. Again, I vaguely remember things. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, don't mind my teeth. I just drink a shit ton of coffee. I needed to wake up. <laughs> so, uh, we are just going to watch now, so... That's real cute. Oh yeah, I remember this! She's gonna be pregnant! Right? Can you imagine suddenly getting pregnant? Like, about to give birth pregnant? Also, as it turns out, you can get pregnant by a kiss. Obviously. <laughs> How much do you want for it? Skolka. How much you want for it? Like a what? It's a bag of freaking potatoes? And he got seven of them. Seriously? Oh. No hesitation on in killing. That one looked weird. Okay, for now, I remember all of the introductions. See you soon. <laughs> That's fucked up. Is this how she learns? What kind of question is that? What are you gonna wear at your dad's funeral? Jesus Christ. Christ! Not even 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Klaus. If I remember right, it's kind of interesting that she and Luther are the only ones who even feel sad about his death. You don't belong here, not after what you did. You're seriously gonna do this today? What did she do? Way to dress for the occasion. Cause I... At least I'm wearing black. True. Cause I was gonna say that's not a very warm hug. I'm glad you're here. You should be. That bad of a dad, huh? I mean then again he referred to the baby as an it, so not really surprised. So she basically well, told everything that ever happened in the house cousin. in that house and that's why everyone's pissed if your father insisted i keep track of your life you yeah because that's not awful at all I was his daily reliance on him. like he obviously cared about those kids pogo not the dad so it's kind of terrible thing to do to remind him of you know the missing kid the CGI is pretty good. 
It's pretty damn good. Yeah, she's a robot. She looks exactly the same as before. Not even a glance. Nothing. Wow. I'm not gonna say anything. Nope. Nothing. He is. He's dead. No, I know. So yeah, Luther and Vanya are the only ones remo remo remotely, remotely, <laughs> sad. You still get something? Of course. I already love him. <laughs> What did she do? Don't they usually give custody to the mom? Or at the very least try to split it? Dad, could you stop playing tennis with Hitler for a moment and take a quick call? Since when? That's your thing. I'm not in the right frame of mind. You're high? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how are you not listening to this nonsense? Well, sober up. This is I love him. <laughs> missing Monica. Oh, he's not even denying it. How could you think that? Oh, wow. Like, I get being happy that your abusive father is dead, but I doubt they would have killed him, right? I mean, I don't get that vibe from them. From any of them. So. Oh! I thought it was weird in his introduction uh, scene that it looked like it was bad CGI on the knife being thrown. But no, he curves the knives. I don't remember him curving the knives. I mean, I remember the suggestion power. I remember Klaus with the seeing ghost power. And I'm pretty sure one of them turns into a monster or something like this. Because I remember a kid drenched in blood. And obviously the missing kid has time travel powers, right? Or portal. He can teleport to the future. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Poor fucking kid! I mean, he obviously doesn't want to be here. Why? He's just a child. That has to be fucking traumatizing. Oh, wow. Father of the fucking year. Thank you for asking. Right, because... Oh my god. I don't think he's sober enough for this. arm gouge oh. Jesus Christ did they even have a childhood or oh, is this a scene where they are going to dance with that uh, shot of the house like a dollhouse a little bit yeah <laughs> that's how you dance oh wow he has to close the door to be able to dance so that nobody can see him <laughs> Yeah, that's a cool shot. The world's better off without him. Diego. My name. Oh, okay, but maybe just out of respect for Pogo, you could have hold on to that thought for later. Come on, big boy. That was funny. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. So he's a mama's boy. Makes sense. <laughs> Holy shit! He is torturing those kids. Like, he, they are clearly in pain. They clearly don't want it. This is torture. He is torturing them. To brand them. Literally, this is a brand. Oh, honey, I understand that you want to be a part of it. Your 
siblings group, but you do not want this brand. So the uh, pills are making her power subdued. Obviously, I mean, obviously she has powers. You don't introduce a normal one among a group of super powered siblings and expect me to believe that she is truly normal. Especially considering she's popping pills and the the thing was beeping really fast compared to her siblings. I don't buy it. Yeah, like toys, pets, weapons maybe. Just, you know, object in general. Oh my god, he is such a bitch. <laughs> is he not human? Or just extremely hairy? I mean, no, the the it's he got even bigger according to his sibling, so like he was normal before. Was he turned into a less human person? Okay, so literally recharge, but this is not a normal technology. And he even went, like, he had a sort of a jet earlier in 89, I think it was. Is he from the future too, the dad? That's why he has that technology. <laughs> He's really talking like he's 58. That actor is really good. Oh yes, I vaguely remember that. He's clearly not there. Oh! Oh, that looks good. Why is it always beeping and having lights? Like, why? Especially considering you would be able to see the light. You would be able to hear it. Why? <laughs> I'm not buying it that it's him. It's a red earring. I'm not buying it. He might hate his dad, but not to the point of killing him. Oh, that's... Ben, right? I mean, obviously, like he is still high, yet he still sees Ben, so he should be able to see his his dad, or maybe like he really doesn't want to. Some subconsciously, he really doesn't want to. So even his conscious mind doesn't allow him to see him. Maybe. How old was he? Thirteen, fifteen. That's not traumatizing at all. And it's still on fire, so it has to happen. Like, it had to happen just then. Uh, yeah, that was a good, a, a great episode. I There are a lot of things that I don't remember, actually. And a lot of things that I do remember. So, uh, you know, it's interesting that uh, Diego is the only one who's still doing the, vigil the vigilante thing. While everyone else is doing their own thing. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, I like Klaus the most. No surprise there. Um, I find Five very entertaining. And uh, Diego is... A little bitch but <laughs> uh he's a mama's boy that's adorable because like he looks you know tough and everything that goes with it and he's a mama's boy i bet by the end he's gonna be like a teddy bear we're gonna find out that he's actually like a teddy bear um 
don't know how I feel about Luther and uh, Allison or Vanya yet. Uh, we'll just see. And obviously Ben just show up at, at the end. But um, that one flashback in the bank was heartbreaking. And I want to hug him. It's kind of insane that uh, the father got away with all this bullshit. Like, literally, the first question was, where are the parents? And he answers with, they were heavily compensated. He bought those children. And then he branded them. It might not have been, you know, with an iron, but it was still a brand. They were being tortured. Like, it's... How... I mean, I guess money, because he's a billionaire, a billion, billionaire, billionaire, billion, whatever. He has a lot of money. But it's just mind-blowing that nobody tried anything. I mean, uh, technically, it could have happened, and we just never saw it because it's not relevant to the story. But uh, it's fucked up. It really is. Yeah, I don't have a lot more to say yet. Uh, we'll see, you know, um, in the next episode. So, yeah. <laughs>